I've been biding my time. I started the divorce process four days post D-Day, paid my retainer less than two weeks after. Finally, I got the drafts for the summons and all related documentation. Just need a couple more bits of info before I can drop it in her lap. What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's feeling good. Hope everybody's doing well. We are back with another story post. Guys, I'll put this up on the screen if you want to check it out. But you guys read the title. Let's just get into it. So, Reddit Surviving Infidelity. Told my cheating soon-to-be ex-wife about meeting with a lawyer. She got ticked. So what made up fantasy land does my wife live in where I can catch her cheating? Have her continue on with her encounter for the entire day while I go pick up the kids from school. Then when I tell her I met with a lawyer and wanted to discuss how things proceed and her response is anger. She starts slamming things and gets snarky with me. She said she wasn't in a hurry. Well, she made it pretty clear that day that we were done by her actions and her words. Not that I would have taken her back anyways. So I would think any sane person's response would be to start the process. This woman has lost her darn mind, has shown zero empathy or remorse, just trying to carry on with life with a newfound freedom without wanting to deal with any of the consequences. We have two kids that are devastated over their parents splitting up. It's like a darn alien has taken over her body because she is not the woman or mother that I have known for the last 16 years. I wonder if filing for divorce will snap my wayward wife out of her, out of her affair fog. Not asking for my sake. I'm filing for divorce tomorrow. I was just wondering if this will snap her out of her seemingly strong fog. To be honest, she's been a pretty crappy mom to our kids. Not bad enough for me to, to get primary custody, but just not interested in how this divorce is going to affect them. Not asking how they feel. They just kind of went back to a, as close to the routine as possible at this point after we told them. And she has since just kind of carried on with her AP like everything is falling into place for her. She spends almost all her free time in the bedroom on her phone. Her app of choice is Facebook. Her and AP started secretly messaging each other a few weeks ago. My 15 year old is really starting to resent her. For one, she is bothered that her mom doesn't seem the least bit bothered that everyone's lives are getting turned upside down, has shown them no remorse and very little sympathy. Second, she knows what her mom has been up to and she's ashamed to be her daughter, she told me. This woman will be involved in my kids' lives for as long as they put up with her new craziness. Her and I are done, but I need her to snap back to reality for their sake. It just feels like she's so wrapped up in this new relationship that she's not able to see things that, that most capable mothers would see. She wasn't always this inattentive. When she started this short EA that led to a PA, I noticed a stark change in her. Well, I'm finding out the kids did too. My 15-year-old broke down in tears the other day and told me she's mad at her mom because she doesn't think she loves them as much as I do. Honestly, she may be right. Is there a small chance that getting served with the reality of divorce gets her to pull her head out of her butt? The financial reality that she won't be able to stay in our house because I'm taking half the money out of it. Or the fact that she's about to lose 50% of her time with the kids. I think that is what's bothering my daughter the most. Mom is not emotional over the fact our family is getting split. Has shown no sadness that she'll get the kids half time. In the meantime, whenever I talk to them about the future, I'm tearing up and just devastated that that I won't see them every day. Just a little backstory real quick. Wife meets AP on January 18th while out with a friend. Never goes out so suspecting nothing. 
January 28th, she goes to hang with this same friend. They'll be drinking, so we'll be staying the night. Tells me her friend has friends out of town. I was happy for her to get out and have fun. Turns out that was a lie. AP is going to be there. He's her friend's brother. February 2nd. Wife is very cold and continues to act distant up until February 10th. She tells me she's not happy and wants to separate. Just needs space. Still loves me, but isn't sure what she wants. That week, I am in turmoil, thinking I effed up, worried about my marriage. February 10th, I find texts alluding to another conversation on Facebook Messenger from AP. Also the day I found her at a hotel with AP. Mm. So, the last month has gone how you'd expect. I'm ticked off at her. She shows no remorse. She continues to see AP coming up with a different excuse each week to be out of the house. Kids are devastated about the split. Otis knows her mom cheated. Wife has been ignoring them emotionally and acting like nothing is wrong. My Otis is ticked off at her mom and I'm doing my best to be there for them and letting her confide in me. Youngest suspects mom is to blame for the split. Noted the other day that mom doesn't seem to care about it. I've been biding my time. I started the divorce process four days post D-Day. Paid my retainer less than two weeks after. Finally, I got the drafts for the summons and all related documentation. Just need a couple more bits of info before I can drop it in her lap. Today, I saw an overnight bag packed. Going to visit her sick grandpa. Last time she used that one, she came stumbling through the door at 9 a.m. He is three hours away, and she was obviously drunk. I decided I won't have a juicy time to drop the news on her like this until next week. So I decided I'd do it today and deliver the paperwork next week. For as cold as she's been, her reaction was about what I expected. I told her I don't believe her that she's been lying to get out of the house every weekend. I told her if she wants to be with him so badly to just pack her stuff and move in with him. She obviously admitted no wrongdoing. Just pointed out the fact that what she's done, does, is none of my business. I explained that her leaving with no excuse as to why she's spending the entire night out is having a negative effect on the kids. He seems to think that it's normal for a 41-year-old mother to have sleepovers. And instead of defending her behavior more, she decided to try and insult me, saying the kids don't even care when I'm out of the house. They don't even notice I'm gone or even ask. I know better. The conversation went back and forth. Mainly me letting her know that her behavior is awful and she's a terrible example to our kids. We landed at a discussion on the house where she tried to say it's hers, lol. I had to explain natural assets to her and then had to explain the buyout is based on current value, not what we paid. Then she told me that I need to get a life, that I'll need simmering to do because I'll only get the kids every other weekend. That's the point where I told her, I have an attorney and filed for divorce last week. She can expect papers this week. She wasn't happy. Again, we're back into her odd behaviors and that she's not a very good person. She said her behavior must seem odd because she's finally happy. I closed by letting her know AP is a loser. Breaking up, breaking up a family. Married and divorced twice. Engaged a third time. Asking her if she was looking to be wife number three and engagement number four. That's when she stormed off. All in all, I was happy how it turned out. I got some stuff off my chest that I could say while gray rocking. But her behavior was so disrespectful that I had to say it. I also now know what her intentions would be in the divorce. To take everything and have me pay child support. She's willing to destroy me financially and mentally for this guy. She still shows no remorse or guilt. Tried to gaslight me by saying I've been acting like a jerk the last month. Back to Grey Rock tomorrow, but for now, I'm happy. Apparently now she wasn't cheating, lol. Edit. I have already filed for divorce. The process has begun. She's not happy with me about having a lawyer, but it's already started.
So soon to be ex-wife was leaving the house again last night. Kids have had it with her behavior. So my youngest gave her the business. Wife pulls me aside for a talk. The most we've talked since D-Day. Says the kids are upset that they hear us fight. No, they're upset because you're leaving again. I'll tell her I've been a wreck. That I can't keep living like this. I'll be cordial for the kids. But we need to proceed with the divorce. Then she tries to make me out to be some sort of angry monster for no reason. She says, I didn't cheat on you. I wanted to separate and then started seeing someone else. First of all, that's BS. If that's the case, then their first date was at, was at a cheap hotel? Not buying it. Second off, even if, it, even if what she says is true, she was still my wife. She told me during the separation that there was no one else. And in seven days between the separation and D-Day, I highly doubt that when they started chatting, she met this guy and secretly messaged with him. She made a plan for their future that didn't include me. The blame shifting and gaslighting is crazy. So after that talk, so after that talk and the kids being upset, she was leaving. She was sitting in the living room on her phone. The second, the second I got my youngest distracted, she took off. She picked the AP over her own kids at a time where, where they were very upset. Their world is getting torn apart and she just doesn't care. It's sickening. Wow. I'm not surprised by this type of behavior. 41 year old woman. She's disgusting, man. She's disgusting. Um, she doesn't care about those kids. She doesn't care about you. And you know what's sad, guys? This is proof that she will use those kids for financial gain. Clearly doesn't care about them. But she wants him to have less custody. He wants to have full custody. She wants him to pay child support. So she can keep him and do what? Leave him home so she can go spend time with AP? We're going out. You guys fend for yourself. You cook for yourself. Clean for yourself. Do for yourself. But she needs to have them, right? Full custody. He can't have them. I'm going to take everything. This is my house. I'm keeping everything and I'm taking the kids and you got to pay child support. Nanny, nanny, boo, boo, ha, 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 ha. It's just a game. They don't give up about anything but themselves. They're selfish. Why I say all the time, is it worth it? The sweetest woman. You can meet the sweetest woman in the beginning. She's just all over you. She's, she just loves you. The second she's done, you say no. You lose a job. She, she can level. She finds a person she can level up to. She's out of there. And you'll see she never loved you in the first place. It is not worth it. That's why I, all, I always ask that question. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? No, it is not worth it. Let's check out these comments. The affair fog and you're ruining her good time. Of course she's ticked off. Good on you for getting the ball rolling with divorce, man. She was probably hoping you'd drag your feet and allow opportunity for her to fall back on her plan B, you, if things don't work out with her affair partner. Here's OP. I fully expect her new relationship to fail miserably. He's currently married too, his, his third wife. But you know what they say, fourth time's the charm or something like that. Please tell the AP's wife if they don't know already. Proud of you for not doing the pick me dance. It never works and just compounds misery factor. And yes, please inform OBS. My condolences to you and your kids. That sounds familiar. Now they've openly been together for over a year and she's already caught him cheating. They're still together and she acts as though life is great. Yeah, she's fooling herself. They're, she's delusional right now. He knows she messed up. He wants her cake too. Hey OP, I finalized my divorce a month ago, but have a very similar experience as you are having now. AP was twice divorced, unmarried though, and my ex was downright ticked off. I fouled on her after D-Day. She was expecting me to wait around and blindsided and upset. Like really? After cheating on me for six months? So dude, don't do anything to upset the affair. Get the best terms you can, at least 50-50 kid time, and focus on your kids. She wants you to be an ATM while she has a side piece. Don't let that happen. Absolutely. 
Have you informed AP's wife? Never say that in front of a German. Nobody said. Huh. OP, use the fog to take her for all you can, especially especially as you as much custody as you can get. Do your best to keep everything cheerful about her new life. Once she signs the papers, then drop her like a bad habit. Once she realizes that life with AP was just him wanting a side piece of butt, he will come crawling back, and then you can put her out with the trash. You take care of you, and know that no matter what, you nor your children deserve anything like this. Here's OP. As I said, it's not for my sake. My kids are not in a good place. They need their mom. I don't. I don't want her back. The answer is still the same. By the time she realizes that she has permanently damaged the relationship with the kids, it will probably be too late. Cheaters are fundamentally selfish people. Yep, they are. There's nothing you can do to snap her out of it. This is all ec excellent advice, somebody said. Therapy. Your wayward wife might never come around. Go to therapy with your kids, though. How, how old are your kids exactly? My oldest is old enough for the court to take her preference into, con into consideration. My youngest is not. Understood, my friend. I doubt it will snap her out of it, though. When we separated, she took it as an opportunity to invest more time with her AP. I wish you the best. Try distancing yourself from her. Please document all the time she is leaving the kids and, con and contact your lawyer so you can be their primary caretaker of the kids. Yes, my uncle was able to document his wife's outings during her affair, all her overnights and parties, and her general lack of concern for the children's welfare. My uncle got majority custody. This was over 15 years ago. If you want to take it to the next level next time you know she will be drinking and driving, call the cops. The DUI on top of this would be the final nail in the coffin. Mmm, yeah, dang. That's some savagery right there. Do not do this until after a divorce is official. You risk a huge fine going against joint assets. Depends on the state, obviously, and ask a real lawyer. Also, judges hate drama and may hold it against you. Oh, he's referring to some, somebody had said, um, also, OP, you can document when she's out of the house at odd hours. To prove in video that she's out at a specific time, as she could argue clocks were changed or whatever, just record a TV and pass through various new channels, as then it can be proven it was a certain hour. Mm. Look at all look at all what you have to go through, guys. Look at all this you have to go through to try to prove some stuff just to to you know to keep her from stealing everything you worked hard for in your life. Everything you worked hard for can be can go straight to her because you married her. You married a lying, cheating wench. And she can take half of everything. Whether you had it before her or you got it. While you were married to her. She neglected you. She cheated. She lied. She treated you like crap. And she gets to get away. She gets away with it. Scott's free. A lot of them get away with it. Sad. Are you proceeding with divorce? You don't need her permission. Stop having pointless conversations with her. Get to Grey Rock and invest time in your children instead. Here's OP. Yes, I'm proceeding. She has to sign some crap still. It's not a pointless conversation when it involves my kids. It is when you talk about yourself and your emotions. I know it is difficult to hear, but it's true. She simply doesn't care about you. Keep the conversation strictly to your kids. There's OP. That's fine. I have nothing of substance to say to her. He's only talking to me about the kids. Me bringing up her actions just serves to make her uncomfortable, which it does. It, change, it changes nothing. She still gets, she's still getting divorced. Good, because you deserve better. Awesome. Guys, let me know what you think about this in a comment. <laughs> Someone said, wow, she's a piece of work. She tried to use separation to cover her cheating. Stick to the plan, brother. Don't let her fool you. Update me. Absolutely. I'm going to stay on this. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. I'll catch you guys at the next one.